Hey guys, and welcome back to another Clear Signal production. Before we start this video, I just want to quickly draw your attention to the top right of the screen. You'll see a little eye, and that eye is for a poll that I have on this video. And the reason for that poll is I just want to get feedback from you guys, my viewers, as to what you're looking for from my channel. Now, obviously, over the past year, I've gotten a lot more popular. I've actually grown a little bit faster than I thought. I'm upwards to 600 something subscribers and I really appreciate that guys I really am glad that I've got so many of you watching my videos you know every day or whenever I put them out on YouTube but that means that I've got a lot of people who can give me great feedback which is what I'm looking for here so there are gonna be a lot of oh, there'll be five five or four options in that poll and there's just a couple I want to talk about in depth now the first one would be um, a patron page or something of that sort now, would you guys be willing to have a patron page, um, or I, if I had a patron page linked with my channel to, you know, buy better equipment to get better video with and stuff like that? It's not something I'm too crazy about because I like making this free for you guys. I, I don't mind having free content out there. And I mean, like I said, I'm not crazy about having a patron page, but if you're willing to do that, if enough people vote yes on that, you know, I might consider it. Now, the second thing is also involving money. Would you guys be willing to pay for my videos or pictures? Now, you've probably heard my camera shutter go off a thousand times in every video, and that's me taking pictures, and that's actually where all the thumbnails come from on every single video on my YouTube channel. Now, if you guys like those thumbnails and you want to see more, um, you know, I, I used to have a website with all the pictures or all my better pictures on there But I took it down because it really didn't go anywhere and I didn't like how it was set up I wanted to do some work on it and if you guys are looking to see my pictures I can definitely put the website back up and pictures were like they ranged from I think ten dollars to like 40 depending on how big the print would be and then I'd have to get a frame and uh, ship them out so it really it was fairly cheap compared to what I've seen at least I think so and if you guys are willing to pay more for my prints once the website goes back up just let me know um, so like I said you know patron page and the website paying for pictures um, you can also pay for videos over there I did have a couple up for like a digital download system and that was kind of working but like I said the site didn't really get much action or anything happening on it but those are the two things I wanted to talk about in depth before we start this video on the New York City subway system which is something pretty unique I think and I think you guys will enjoy this a lot but that's pretty much it like I said there's a few other poll options there that you guys can look at but I just wanted to talk about those two a little bit more so Without further ado, let's get started on the New York City subway. Enjoy. We started in Milford, Connecticut, where we would catch a Metro North train to Harlem 125th Street. But first, we saw a few Amtraks in the morning. Only a few minutes later, our Metro North train arrived, and we were heading towards the city. After traveling through New York City for several hours, we finally arrived at Brighton Beach Station on the queue line where we saw a set of D-types heading northbound from the station.
Shortly thereafter, a set of Brooklyn Rapid Transit cars came in, which are notable from their porches on each end, making them stand out from the rest of the cars. Throughout the day's festivities, revenue service had to continue, so there were several sets of R160s coming in north and south to Brighton Beach. Here we see the BRT standards heading northbound from Brighton Beach. Well, the announcer sort of stole my thunder, but as we saw earlier, a set of R9s were making shorter runs between Ocean Parkway and Brighton Beach, and then we saw them coming back to Brighton Beach. And here we see another revenue set of our 160s coming into the station. Here we see a shot of the R9s and the BMT standards next to each other as the rain gets heavier.
And now we'll take a ride on the D-types up to King's Highway. Yeah, he's lived in Chicago for 70 years, and he has to the last of the accident. That's a D-top We then set up at Neck Road, where we saw the set of BMT standards coming northbound. Next up was a set of southbound revenue cars. And then the Brooklyn cars came south, which could be heard from a good distance away. And then it was the D-types to come north, also making some noise. The parade kept up as the BMT set came south. We then went down to Ocean Parkway, where we saw the R9s.
After this, the four sets of nostalgic cars would be parked and set up at Ocean Parkway for a photo shoot. At the end of the day, this was a great event which I highly recommend to anyone who lives around New York City, as long as you don't mind traversing the Beehive. Other than that, this was a great event like I said, and I would like to attend next year. And with that, I'd like to thank you for watching this special presentation from the New York City subway, and consider subscribing to Clear Signal Productions, and give us a like on Facebook.